Hey y'all, hey, I got, listen, I got my coffee, I got the worship, and we about to make up. So wake up y'all, it's time to get up. I don't know what time it is where you are, but you need to get up, you need to get your coffee, you need to pump your worship, and you need to, let's, let's get it together, let's get cute together, okay? Let's get cute together. Okay, let me explain to y'all the card. So, this right here wig that I purchased, um, I think it was 70, 70 something. Um, it's a synthetic, but it's a more upgraded version of a synthetic. Um, it's a 13 by four deep lace. Um, and it is a premium synthetic. It comes in a whole lot of colors, um, but y'all know, Lady K don't like a whole bunch of colors. Okay, um, so I just got a number two. It is an antibacterial um, cap. So that means it keeps it fresh where your scalp can still breathe, so on and so forth. Um, and let me see, what else? It's supposed to be heat safe. I like to use the rollers that are heated, heated rollers if I want to roll it. So I'll do that or I'll do it at night. And it says that it comes with baby hairs. But y'all, I already cut the lace off. Um, it's supposed to be free parting space, but it's only parted in the middle part. And um, it's ultra hygienic. Her name is, I think, Ari. So this is the wig that I got right here, you guys, but without the color. So just say, just imagine this without the color, okay? And y'all know I do hair, so I kind of jazzed it up a little bit. So I'm gonna show y'all the unit. So this is what it looks like in the inside. So it has the cap right there in the inside. So it says it's a free part, but not really. It has the lace along the sides. It comes with three combs, one here, one here, and one in the back at the bottom. But as you can see, it is breathable. But you guys, I don't use the combs. That's the purpose of this right here. I feel like when you use the combs, it kind of like pulls on your hair too much. And I don't like that. So I don't never use the combs. Y'all, I do not swing my wig back like most people. I put it on just like this. I just do. I like to line it up with my part, but I'm gonna fix my part, of course. Pull it down in the back. Pull it down on the sides. Pull it down on this side. Y'all, now I'm not a wig person, so I'm not a wig connoisseur, so this is how I do my wigs. I'm just showing y'all what I do, okay? So y'all wig connoisseurs, don't come in here like, girl, you putting it on wrong, girl, you... I just said okay so I like to line it up with my part as much as I can for the pictures I'm gonna go through and part it make sure it's as straight as I can get it and part it like that and I like to leave out more edges y'all than most people because I like to have my wigs like I want to be able to like, if I throw it back, I don't want you to be able to see it, if that makes sense. This right here is the Black Caster Miracle. Y'all, and this is actually used for braids, locks, and gel twists. This is amazing. If you see this in your local beauty, y'all better grab it, baby, because it's about to be the bomb, okay? So, I'm just going to take a little bit right here, a little bit right here. And I go down just a little bit, not a lot. Y'all, and then, like I said, this is how I do my wigs. Everybody don't do this, okay? So don't don't be like, oh, you know, Lady K said this is how you gotta do it. This is how Lady K do her wigs, okay? Okay, okay, pumpkin. And I just brush it down all over the place right there. Okay, so now that I have that part the way I want it, and if you go to my page, you can see I just posted this with me in this wig yesterday. I took a picture and y'all, it was so cute. Let me show y'all how I fix my parting. 
somebody might be like, it's already fixed, Lady K. It ain't fixed enough. Okay, so let me take this brush and brush it right here. Okay, let me show y'all, right? I have concealer in a jar. This is in the color nutmeg. This is in the color nutmeg. I have a brush. I'm going to use the tip of my brush just like I did with my brows. I'm going to use the tip of the brush. Take it inside your concealer. And this I put on my scalp and on the wig. All down the wig. Now, it's not going to make it perfect, y'all, but this makes it better. Okay? We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for just better. Okay, 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 got it, okay, got it. Okay, and then I just brush it down. I need to make sure that part is tucked. And I just brush it just like this. Same thing on this side, I just brush it. A little more layers in this side because like y'all see how this side is, it's like, I got this side perfect, but I gotta do more on this side, if that makes sense. So I might just, let me, let me just go ahead and show y'all that. So I just grabbed it like that, take it, comb it down, and I just take the scissors and, y'all, I told y'all I'm not good at wigs, so don't judge me. I'm just doing my best. Go. Do y'all see that? Okay, boom. I feel more confident, y'all. Y'all, look at this. <laughs> All right, so whose hair is it? It's mine, cause I brought it. She feels amazing, okay? Y'all, she feels amazing. Um, She act like she got manners. She acts very respectful. Okay, do y'all want to see the back? Let me show y'all the back. Okay, so that's respectful. She act like she walk in and she say, hi, y'all. That's how she walked in. She walks in and she say, hi, y'all. So it's like natural Lady K. Like, this is Lady K. Like, if you ever see me in a wig, majority of the time, it's going to look almost like this. I ain't overdoing it with my wigs. I just never do. 